Upper blepharoplasty scars. I'm wondering how long it usually takes for the scars from blepharoplasty on the upper eyelids to become less noticeable. I'm putting kilo coat on them two times a day to hopefully help the scars fade away. How long do you normally tell your patients it takes for the scars to fade? Thank you for your question. You submitted several photos and you're asking how long does it take for upper eyelid scars after blepharoplasties uh, to fade? And you state in your question that you're putting kilo coat uh, on your upper eyelid twice a day and uh, you're looking for some guidance as to w what the timeline is uh, from where you are currently. Well, I can certainly g give you my impressions based on the photos you submitted, uh, of course, without the benefit of any history and uh, physical examination. A little bit of background, I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. Eyelid surgery, upper eyelid uh, cosmetic and reconstructive surgery has been a significant part of my practice and certainly I've actually um, have had a lot of experience uh, that I've actually published about the best ways to handle uh, different skin types when it comes to these types of issues. So when I look at your photos, I notice that you have some bruising and you have some yellow discolorations which makes me think that the eyelid surgery was relatively recent. And when I say relatively re recent, I'm thinking maybe in the past few weeks. Well, I think this is a discussion that you definitely should have with your doctor. When I talk to my patients, uh, and again, coming from decades of experience and knowing what people do, I very often have to discourage them or dissuade them from trying to prevent some, what they're always concerned about is keloid formation. Uh, one of the fears everyone has is that the scars will look thick and obvious. So part of this is understanding what is going on. Wound healing is a very important concept and essentially to make it simple, when you are within the first month of your wound healing process, it is actually normal for the skin of the eyelid incision point to actually be elevated and thick. And many times people want to do something to interfere with that. And what unfortunately happens is by placing their fingers with whatever they're placing on there, they often actually inflame it further. Essentially, the phase that you're going through is referred to as the proliferative phase of wound healing. During the proliferative phase of wound healing, the body is essentially putting collagen, and that collagen is relatively disorganized. Uh, we can kind of like throwing spackle. It's just basically repairing, and all of the fibers of collagen are actually disorganized. Now, after one month, they start going through a remodeling phase. And, that, and during that phase, those disorganized fibers become parallel and flat. And so, a lot of times, the fear of the scar becoming a keloid occurs during this proliferative phase, when things look a little bit thick. So, I follow my patients pretty closely. I see them at one week, sometimes at two weeks after that first week time frame, uh, after they've had sutures removed, then at one month, then three months, six months, and a year. That first few weeks is very important to just essentially, what I tell my patients is to do, do proper hand hygiene, avoid, uh, uh, avoid touching the area as much as possible, and simply just try not to put any kind of anti-scar creams or anything like that. In my experience, and I've written articles about this, such as uh, an article I wrote years ago called Ethnic Considerations in Eyelid Surgery, even people with darker skin who have this tendency to form keloids, uh, whether it's keloids behind the ear, with ear piercing, or hypertrophic scars or thick scars where they show uh, like incisions on their abdomen or other areas, well, 
Eyelid skin is remarkably forgiving. When there is good technique and good closure, even in keloid prone skin, eyelid skin can heal very, very nicely. So I think that you should remember that your time frame is not in the first few weeks, but actually over uh, several months. And over several months, you will see this remodeling process. And again, with follow-up with your doctor, you should have a much better understanding, especially if your doctor shows you the progression of your improvement with time. And of course, I think that this is something that you should always ask your doctor about before you go and place things on your own. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.